everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Uh, I've had some subscribers asking me uh, to show the steps that I do painting my purses. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it step by step so you know exactly what I'm doing. I start out by going to Hobby Lobby and I buy my purses. Now they come in, I believe, in three sizes. I only have the two sizes here, but there's a bigger one that you can get if you want to have a bigger purse. It doesn't matter. You do the same steps with any size that you get. The second step that I do is I tape well, the purse. You do that after I take all the hardware off. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Phil removes all the hardware and then I get to do the hard part of taping it. He doesn't want to tape it because he knows how long it takes. But what I do is I put a double uh, row of tape around each thing so that uh, just in case the paint would seep through, you don't have that problem with the double taping. The third step is the fun step. You get to paint it. And you can do whatever kind of painting you want. You can either do a flip cup, you can do a Dutch pour, uh, you can do whatever you want. And make sure that you let this dry because it takes a while to dry. And um, this has been drying before I resined it, oh, probably about four or five days. And then you, you still leave the tape on. Don't take the tape off because if you resin it, you need to have the tape on. Do not remove the tape. Well, you can remove it if you varnish it. But the third, first, second, third. Okay, the next step is, this is the finished product. And what I did was, I removed the tape and I decided to stain the wood. So what I did was I put two coats of the stain of my choice to kind of match the outside. And then I put a coat of the polyurethane. I did it inside and outside. Now, if you don't want to do the stain, you can paint it any color that you want to match the purse. It's a fun project to do. It's time consuming. But if you do resin it, do not pull the tape off for at least five to six days because you want to make sure that that is totally, totally on there. Now this has been resined probably for two weeks. So what I'm going to do is I will pull the tape off of this one and I'm going to actually get a darker uh, stain for this because it's not, it would be pretty, but I'm going to do a little bit darker stain yeah, on I this one. I think the darker stain would probably be better for that, yes. Yeah. So those are the steps. Oh, you forgot the important last step. Oh, I know. Phil, put the hardware back <laughs> on the purse. Well, yeah, you couldn't carry it without the hardware. That's so important. So kudos to <laughs> Phil because you know what? I wouldn't be having my purse if we didn't have the hardware back on it. I have to try to get credit anywhere as I can. So now you have it. It went from this to this. I hope you liked my intro because this will be tacked on to the video on exactly how I painted this. So I hope you enjoyed my intro and I hope you enjoy the video. So Phil can now tack it on to the video. So I'll see you later everybody. Bye. Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Porn by Kathleen Miller. Today I'm going to be making a purse with the Sheely art technique. And I've already uh, done one, and this was like a cup pour that I did. And I made this for myself. And my daughter, oldest daughter in Tennessee, and my granddaughter in Tennessee, they said, Mom, can you make us one? And I went, sure, why not? So um, I have everything taped. And number two is inside because I'm doing number one and number two, but um, I'm going to stain the outside. Unlike this one, I coated it with paint to match the blues, but I'm going to stain uh, the next ones 
You understand the inside too, I think. Right? And the inside. Yes. That's yes. why I yes. I have everything taped. So I have all of my pigments that I made up, and I'm I'm using strictly pigments on this. And it's a cranberry pigment. This one, which is beautiful. The old gold pigment. The Guatemalan green pigment. The snapdragon pigment. And the sunburst pigment. And I'm using a black cell activator. Uh, my daughter, she wears a lot of different colors all the time. She's a teacher, a high school teacher. And um, so we're going to see how this turns out. I might like it so well that I might even keep it myself. You never know. You never know what Kathy will do. Well, I know for sure I'm not going to use it, so don't worry about that. Well, you do carry my purse sometimes to the car, but, you know, who knows? If You never know. You might like this for a man bag. What do they call the? A merce. Oh yes, a merce. You might want a merce. Uh. Okay, so I'm gonna flood this. This is the house paint. If you hear noise in the background, the neighbor is getting some landscaping done and it's the leaf blower. However, <laughs> I offered the landscaper my little leaf blower but he said, oh, no, ma'am, no, no, that take too long for me to do. I said, okay, well, if you know, if you ever want to borrow it, just feel free to stop by. So that was kind of funny. The landscapers around here are really, really nice. But noisy. They are noisy. I'm just spreading this out so that... Um, Get to the edge is good. Yeah. Plus, I'm, I think I'm going to add a little bit more on the, um, oh, I don't have any paper towels. Well, we'll use this one. Because I uh, might, I think I'm just going to put a little dab of Louie right here. Go back here and reach, reach no, it's for fine. for you. Paper towels. Well, I don't want it right there. <laughs> I mean, hello. <laughs> well, I have to show them I'm Johnny on the spot. Oh, you're Johnny on the spot, all right. Do I want to do, maybe I'll do, uh, we'll, we'll see. Okay. Don't have to hold that, Kath. I have a tendency to hold paper towels. I don't know why. Okay. This oh, one gonna... is... You're gonna do a little thing on the, oh, okay. Yeah, because I, I kind of want them to run over the sides. Usually you do the pu puddles in the middle. I'm doing a puddle in the middle too, Phil. Oh, okay, I know. This is a, a multi-puddle one. It's gonna be a multi-puddle, all right. I think I'm gonna put a little puddle up here too. You can't leave that one little corner all by as lonesome. Or can you? Oh, I can, <laughs> but if you want me to, you know, cover well, I, it. I don't really know what you're going to attempt here. So, again, I'm giving you unsolicited advice. That's probably wrong. Oh, who knows? It's only paint. It's only for Tiff in Tennessee. In my daughter's eyes in Tennessee, I can do no wrong. I must have raised her right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's she's really something. So you're gonna put every color paint in each little dot? Yes. Okay. Ah! Hey, you're making a mess. I know. It's fine though, because it's all gonna be blown together. So we don't have to worry, Phil. We don't have to worry about a thing. I'm stressing over it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're stressing over this because it's better than being stressed over something else. Like the, the guy doing the landscaping, you were having a fit because <laughs> the leaf blower was going to the background and we can't make a video.
Okay, moving on to our sunburst. Yeah, this is going to be quite colorful. Hopefully. Well, if it isn't, then we move on. And uh, you can get these uh, boxes, these purse boxes at, um, Michael's has them, but they're totally different. Um, they're okay. I, I think they're pretty. I just like these better with the uh, silver handle. And these were from where are they? These are from uh, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, okay. I think they're on sale uh, this week. No, they're not. Oh. <laughs> You need to buy more, a paper and move to town. More so. bad information from the videographer. <laughs> but if you have a coupon, your coupon, 40% off, you can get 40% off. I, I thought these did go on sale once in a while. They go like every other week. Oh, well, okay. This is not the correct week. All right. Ooh. They'll probably be on sale next week now. I don't know about you people, but our Hobby Lobby is so packed with people. Oh my gosh. You can hardly find a place to park. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to blow the corner first. Okay. I get my shirt get, in this. Did you want to get all of them kind of going first and then blend them? That's what I'm doing. Okay. You must have read my mind. <laughs> I usually do, don't I? So far, wow. I'm gonna let it sit for Pretty a Pretty cool. Bit. Oh, my nose is running. I like that you put five different puddles on there. A little it's puddle will do you. Be so careful because I can't get this top in this. No, well, all your tops are getting starting to match now. Black with white splatters. <laughs> oh, you're real funny. <laughs> you know I have a fit if. Oh, this is pretty. It's very pretty. I don't think I'm gonna to do too much to it. Well, you gotta get I it really to the like edges. It. Don't you want to have? Don't you want to have it to the edges? I'm just gonna tip it. Oh, well, I'm not okay. Gonna blow oh, it. I see what you're saying. Yeah, right. Okay, that'll work. Wow, that thing is beautiful. Nicer than that other one you showed in the beginning. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> well, I. I like your honesty. That's right. This is really pretty. Yeah, it is. Wow. It's really pretty. I don't really think you need to do anything else. No, I'm not. 
I'm leaving it. I'm just going to get this covered a little bit. I just really like this. Yeah, it's super. Oh, now we have the neighbor's <laughs> dog barking. He wants to get his two cents in here too. Oh, that's okay. That's really pretty. Yeah, that turned out really nice. I mean, I can stretch some of these cells, I, but I really don't, I don't want to stretch I, it. I don't think you should do anything with it. And once you uh, resin it, it's going to be really cool. And of course, are you going to do the other side now or you want to uh, do another video for the other side? I mean, I, I can do it if you want. Well, it's... I think we should continue on and okay. just do completion. We'll just go on. Because this... Yeah, that, that one turned out really, really pretty, so I'm really excited. I know Tiff's going to love it. I know she will love it. And what color are you going to stain the uh, sides and the inside? Um, I think I'm gonna do it like a, a probably a, a brown, brownish. Oh, like a mahogany or yeah. something like that. Also, I mean, if you want to fancy this up, don't can you put like a liner in it of I don't know what felt or something? Yeah, you can put any any type of a liner, which I'm gonna do that yeah. because that yeah. way, if you have your cell phone and stuff in these, um, you don't want to. It won't it bounce around. around. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I know I told her, because I, I talk to her every single day. I talk to her and my other daughter that lives here, too. I talk to my daughter in, in Tennessee every day, and I said to her, Oh, Tiff, guess what? Mom's going to do your uh, purse tomorrow. And she goes, Oh, my God, you are? I said, Yeah. She goes, Oh, I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow after school. I said, Yeah, I'll be able to show you what it looks like. So she'll be calling me, asking me what it looks like. Yeah, these pigments, pigment, pigments, these pigments really have color, color and vibrancy to them. Okay. Okay. And away we go again. Do you remember the order? Uh, kind of. I think it was. It's the, this purse. Uh, yeah, I think you went with that. With that. And then this the, is... uh. The green here. The green, then the gold. Yep, then the yellow. yellow and the... Right. Okay. Yeah, we, um, it's really strange because we have two daughters and um, Phil is very conservative, and I'm not conservative at all. I mean, when I did art shows back home, you wouldn't have believed how I would dress. I mean, I got more compliments. So my daughter that lives in Tennessee, Tiffany, and her granddaughter there, or her daughter, which is my granddaughter, they they are just like me. They have wild shoes, wild boots. Um, you wouldn't know it because I'm usually in black, but... Um, yeah, she takes after me. And then our daughter here in Arizona, our youngest daughter, she totally takes after Phil. She's very, very conservative. And um, her and Phil are always razzing Tiff because, of course, Christy, our daughter here, and Phil went to the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and Tiffany went to Bradley. So it's like, oh, boy. And Phil and Christy, they think, you know, Madison's all it. So we don't say anything. When Madison's on TV, all I hear is a lot of swearing. If they don't, you know, score, Phil will go, darn it. That's Phil's, you know, well, extent of swearing. All I say is, go Badgers. And darn it. <laughs> darn it. Why did they put him in? So, yeah. 
That's Phil's extent of swearing. Darn it! Um, hmm, okay, I'll, I'll take that. Well, sometimes <laughs> you use other words, but most of the time you don't really, you're not a big swear person. No. You never have been. Me, on the other hand, I can get kind of lippy sometimes. Yes. Be quiet. Yes, Be quiet. I knew you were going to say that. You're the bad influence of the family. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> when you're an only child, what do you expect? Being spoiled. No, I was overly loved. Oh, well, okay. That's, that'll work. Yeah. Everybody goes, oh, you were so spoiled, I bet. I went, no, I was over, overly loved. And then, then they don't know what to say. So it's like, oh. they don't know what to say, but they're still thinking. Right, so right. <laughs> I know, I know they are right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, you're ready to go. Okay. See how close this one comes to the other one. I want it exact. <laughs> Good for you. Then you blow. <laughs> Nothing will be exact. No, it's impossible. I mean, we can try, but it's not going to work. I don't even write my name the same two times in a row. So I, don't I know, know because I usually forge it to go to the bank. <laughs> so they don't know oh, how you got that on tape. They're going to know. <laughs> not unless they subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I'll just deny it. That's what you always say. I always say, I'm going to tell the girls. I'm just going to deny it. They believe me. They do. That's what's so <laughs> sad. Dad would never do that. Really? Right. Now that looks a lot different, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's pretty much the same. Oh. Whatever you say there, darling. Oh, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing about uh, these purses, uh, if one side's nicer than the other, you just hold that side <laughs> up <laughs> and keep the other side hidden. <laughs> or I just have you walk in front of me. <laughs> you can never get get them both the same. No. Well, that's the cool part about it, really. I don't know which way is the top or which way is the bottom. Well, now. we'll figure that out when the tick comes off. Oh, can you push that a little closer? Yep. Okay, so this was uh, side one and side two. Side two. I mean, they're similar colors, but uh, to me, I think the patterns and the uh, are different. Which they is are fine. different. Yeah. I mean, and they're it, very and different. It, and the composition is a little different, but I actually like them both. So. They go together. Yeah. They're just yeah. totally yeah, different. That's that's the that's the beauty part. of as you say. That's the beauty of it all. That's right. Beauty, beauty. Okay, everybody. If you liked this, please share it and um, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell, and every time Phil uploads a video, you will be notified. And um, I'm going to do another purse. Um, sometime this week because I have to see how this one's going to turn out 
And what do you want me to say? Tell them about your Etsy shop. Oh yes, my Etsy shop is open. And um, there's a lot of different stuff on there. You can see what I do it, with my artistry. Um, there's Reese on there. There's my heads on there. Coasters. There's coasters. There's my paintings. <laughs> uh, you name it, it's on there. So if you have a chance, go to my Etsy shop and please subscribe to my channel. I love all of you. And until the next time, bye. Take a last look at this. It's going to be a nice purse. Very nice.